Hey there, welcome to my curls. My name is Renee and this is Pollux. Pollux is a shelter dog that we adopted about four months ago. And up until this point, we've just been kind of letting him do his own thing, figure things out, just kind of, you know, letting Pollux be Pollux. But today, I'm gonna try to teach Pollux something. I've learned that he's really not open to new things. So we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> So we had to upgrade something in our house, which I'm gonna show you what that is, but that upgrade requires me to teach him something. This is either gonna go really well or really bad. Would you like me to put some more peanut butter in that for you? I can. You want some more peanut butter? I wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, June's Journey. Y'all, I am addicted to this game. June's Journey can be downloaded on your iPhone or your Android, and it's an interactive video game, and let me tell you how it works. It is set in the 1920s, and June's sister and her husband have been murdered. So June has to go through all these scenes to find hidden objects, and then those objects become clues to solving the mystery of who killed her sister. It is so much fun, and I'll tell you, the better you get at the game, Game, the more difficult the game gets. So there's always a challenge ahead of you. This game is free to download and if you would like to get it for yourself, I'll provide a link in the description box below. So thank you to June's Journey. Oh my gosh, you have spider webs on your ears. Oh my goodness me, how did that happen? His head is covered in spider webs. I don't know what he got in, but he has spider webs all over his ears. <laughs> If you've been on my channel before, you know that I have another dog. His name is Maxie. He's a little white miniature schnauzer. Come here, Moo. Come here. Come up here and show him. Come on. Oh my gosh, what have you been in? <laughs> now here's everybody. We have always had a doggy door. It's a doggy door in our screen door. We ordered this screen door. The company that makes the door was shut down because of the virus and everything that's going on. And then when they did get reopened, they shipped us the door and it was cut wrong. It was their fault. They made a mistake. We contacted them. They corrected it. They had to recut the door. Did you see? There he went. And they sent us a new door. And so now it is installed. Randy installed the doggy door into our screen door while I was at work last night. Yesterday, I did force Pollux through the door two times. I had to get on top of him, get underneath his belly, and just push him through. Like, he will watch Maxie go through the door, but he will not do it himself. He will sniff all around the door. He will poke the door with his nose. So you all saw Maxie go through it. Maxie is a pro. He has had a doggy door since since he lived with us for almost nine years. But let me tell you why I want a doggy door at my house. We have a really large backyard and we put in a fence around the outer perimeter of our yard just for Pollux. He needed a place to run and be free and so that we got the fence, I don't know, six, five or six weeks ago. So he can now come outside and run all he wants to. Well, I want him to be able to come outside when he wants to, and same for Maxie. When we are home, our sliding glass door is open, the screen door is shut with the doggy door in it, so the dogs can come in and out all they want to all day long, as long as we are home. Come on. Come on. No, Mooey, you already had one. Come here, Pollux. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Come here. No. <laughs> wait a minute. If I get out the treats to try to teach Pollux how to go through the doggy door, Maxie just comes running. He, <laughs> Maxie has already had plenty of treats and he knows how to do the doggy door, but I feel bad because every time I, I get a treat out, he comes running. <laughs> so you know how to do the door, don't you? And you do it really good. I'll give Maxie a treat because you've been so sweet. Maxie has put on a little bit of weight this winter and I truly think it's because we bought bigger treats for Pollux because he needs more food and more treats than Maxie. Well, it's just easier to just give Maxie the same thing. And so Maxie's gotten a little chunky. So I'm trying to cut back and only give him half the treat. He's he not really appreciating that. Oh, now you're going to come down? Come on down here. Come here. 
want one? Okay. Got a treat for nothing. He didn't even go through the door. So let me show you this doggy door and how it works because this is so cool. This is our actual screen door. You're not buying the screen door. The screen door you must already have. All you're getting is this doggy insert. The dog door swings both ways. And if you can hear that clicking sound, those are the magnets that are all, they have points all over it. So you can see them. So it keeps the dog door shut and kind of tight. So air or bugs or whatever cannot fly in around the doggy door. So all day long, when we used to have three schnauzers, this is what I heard all day. Like this never stopped because somebody was always going in and out the doggy door. So this flap is made of really thick, durable, clear something. I don't know what it is. And it's surrounded by magnets. On the inside, can you see this? There's like a soft, fuzzy stuff. So if the dog comes through and they actually brush up against the sides, this is soft stuff. So it's not sharp. It's not going to hurt their skin. Hey, Pollux, are you going to go through the doggy door today? Please? went through so that is a start I want to tell you that I am not sponsored by this doggy door company they are not paying me anything I purchased this door at full price don't think that I'm doing this video to try to get you to buy something to benefit me I get nothing I just want to tell you about something that I love and something my dogs love I'm getting ready to hang out at the pool and he's gonna there he goes there's Sailor. There's Maxie. Maybe the video just needs to be about Maxie and Maxie's door. And Pollux just has to figure it out in his own time. Because for now, he's not doing it. Just please come through. Come on. Look, Mama will open the door. Look here. Come on. Come on, Pollux. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Pollux, oh, you're being so stubborn about it. What's the big deal? It's a door. Oh, see, he just comes right in. I don't know what this one's problem is. Yeah, look at him down there on that table. We just had lunch. He is getting more and more. I think it's called counter surfing. Will you just do it already? Pollock, go. 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 Just go. I'm holding it up. Go. What's the problem? Huh? Oh, see? No problem for the maxer. Just go in. Why are you so being a scaredy baby? Moo, show him how it's done again. Y'all have a little talk about it. Do you see that? Just go in. You can do it. Just go, go, go. <sighs> Is it time for a Judy? Oh my goodness gracious. Working on the doggy door was just too much work, Pollux. Buddy, just come through the door. Come on. Just come on. Jeez. And there he goes. 
That's his hiding spot. Y'all see him in there? Go get him, Moo. Go get him. I think this is one of Pollux's favorite places, is in Dweet. Checking it out. Oh, we gotta get in these flowers too, I guess. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Maxer, what are you seeing there? What's going on? What are you doing in the flowers? Can you get out? Now what are you gonna do? Oh my! Well, he's just checking them all out. He's on a mission to find something. <laughs> Maxie loves to lay on the lounge chair with me. He gets hot quick. He just go in when he get hot. That's why we love the doggy door. He can just go in. I don't have to get up. Right, Moo? Hey, Moo, tell him you love a doggy door. <laughs> he looked at the door, like, to see if it was still there, but then he just kept on going. Oh, he gonna go check it out for a second. Pollux, go on in. Well, Pollux just said if he can't go inside and take a Judy, he's just gonna take one right there into shade. He's gonna watch the doggy door. Oh, no, something got his attention. Oh my goodness, what is it? What he see? Apparently you didn't see it. Cause you'd have been down there too. So Pollux is a no-go for the day. Won't go in the door. However, Maxie has gone in and out probably 30 times since we've been in the pool. He laying in the sunshine. Are you enjoying the sun, Moo? But I gotta go to work Saturday night and we'll just try it again tomorrow. I think it's gonna take him a couple days just in and out, in and out, me kind of forcing him because he won't go through with treats, but he will go through if I make him go through. But Maxie loves the door and we'll just keep trying again tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. I forgot to tell you all, Brickin is headed home from the beach right now. She's been gone all week and Pollux has been hanging out in her bedroom while she was gone and pfft, just don't tell Brecken. So I put her sheets in the wash this morning and I forgot to put them back on her bed and she's gonna be home in about an hour. So I'm run upstairs really quick before I go to work. I'm gonna make her bed and she has a black comforter which is covered in dog hair from Pollux. So I'm gonna use the Chom Chom Roller. I'm gonna show it to you all one more time. I'm gonna get the comforter all cleaned up because she's gonna wanna be home and sleep in her bed tonight. We missed her and we're glad she's gonna be home. But I gotta get her bed cleaned up. Okay, this is Brecken's comforter. Look at all the dog hair. Now look, dog hair gone. I gotta do her whole bed. Oh, no, you don't. I just cleaned her bed. Go, mister. That's better. Now, Bea will be home tonight to a clean bed. I want to show y'all the dog hair that I got off of Brecken's comforter. This is all Pollux's hair. Just her comforter. Look at this. This is just off her comforter? This. Her, I just did her comforter. Look at this. This is what was on Brecken's comforter. But it's gone. I cleaned it up. Thanks, Pollux. So, hey, y'all. Welcome to day two of my experimental weekend of trying to teach Pollux something new. Didn't go so well yesterday. He was not having it. Today, I'm going to try again. What I know about Pollux, he is a stubborn little toot. If he doesn't want to do something, he is not going to do something. And the more I want him to do it, the more he resists. <laughs> that I know about Pollux. Maxer. So, Ma see, so Maxie has always been very willing to learn, very easy to teach. Although when he barks and I want him to stop, he won't stop. Come on, let's go in. Come on, Moo. Show him how it's done. Go, Pollux. Why won't you do it? Come here. Come here. No. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. 
jump down. Pollux. He's <laughs> just watching you. Go, Pollux. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, look who ran up here when the door opened. So if the doggy door is something that interests you, let me give you two sources to get the door, or two bits of information. There is a company called Hale Pet Doors, H-A-L-E. They are the manufacturer of the doors. You can go to their website, you can order the doggy doors directly. They have all kinds of doors. Doors that fit in doors, we have one that fits in our screen door. You can also go to petdoors.com. They also sell the doors manufactured by Hale, but they're a reseller. So check both of their websites. You might find discount codes or coupons. Pollock has enjoyed his day. He's been lazy in the yard. He's been running around as usual, but he wants no part of the doggy door. But I know he'll get it. It's just gonna take time. He's gonna have to figure it out on his own. When I'm not paying any attention to him, I'm sure he'll go through it. What are you doing? Up. What? I wasn't playing. Go. Go. <laughs> go. <laughs> go. Bees home. Hello. <laughs> well, this marks the end to another weekend at the pool and Pollux did not go through the doggy door. He went through a couple times if I held up the flap and he really, really wanted to go in, but just going on his own, it is not happening. I have learned that Pollux is extremely stubborn. Basically all day today, he would not come to me. He would not get near me. I wanted to brush him outside, which is something I do all the time. Not having it, would not come to me. I have not even been able to pet him today. He knows something's up. He knows I want something from him, and he is keeping his distance from me. Anyway, Maxie loves the doggy door. You all got to see it. Yeah, Pollux is stubborn. That I know. So until next time, y'all, I'll see you later.